Hi everybody, it's me, Lisa T, coming at you with some positive energy, Latin up your life with Lisa, reading The Language of Letting Go by Melody Beauty. So we are reading the 24th, September 24, 24, 24, September 24th, allowing ourselves to be needy. It's okay. Oh my gosh. These last bunch of readings is just, I'm, it's helping me see that more and more and more to be okay with you know how I ebb and flow through life how my emotions change throughout the day how I change through you know circumstances and situations that come up it's okay that I'm you know nervous in this situation it's okay that I'm you know exuberant in this situation it's okay that I'm needy in this situation loving and 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 accepting all parts of myself allowing ourselves to be needy it's okay to be a little needy sometimes we all need it's human allowing ourselves to be needy September 24th we can accept ourselves as people who have needs. There's a difference between having needs and being needy too. We can get over, again, you know, it's all about the scale of balance, right? We don't wanna be too needy and we don't wanna have no needs at all. I've, I've experienced both of those things. I've, there was a time it was a coping mechanism. Nope, I've got no needs. Everything was okay. I was lying to myself. I do have needs and it's okay. So we can accept ourselves as people who have needs. The need for comfort, love, understanding, friendship, healthy touch. I'm a massage therapist. I am definitely in need of someone touching me back, like, a, you know, a hug. I need a hug. I, I, and I ask for them these days when I need it, um, especially because I'm a massage therapist. I give that away so much. So I do have that need and it's okay. So um, we have need, the, the need for comfort, love, understanding, friendship, healthy touch. We need positive reinforcement, someone to listen to us, someone to give to us too. We are not weak for needing these things. It doesn't make you weak to have needs. It makes you healthy and normal and it makes you strong and powerful to ask for those needs to be met. So we need positive reinforcement, someone to listen to us, someone to give to us. We are not weak for needing these things. These needs make us human and healthy. Getting our needs met, believing we deserve. That's a huge one. I was, I was talking to a really good friend about this just a few weeks ago and because I went through it and someone asked me to say, I deserve better. And no one has ever said that to me. Someone would say, you deserve better, Lisa. And I say, yeah, 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 we all deserve better. I deflected it. When someone actually asked me to say, say, I deserve better, it was I couldn't spit it out of my mouth. And so then I passed that gift on and asked someone I was, a friend I was talking to, I was, she was like, yeah, yeah I deserve better. And, or she was talking about deserving things. And I said, now say it. I And at first she said it, but without coming from her heart, it was in her head still. And as I asked her to repeat it and repeat it, the tears came up in her eyes. Um, so because we, she recognized, oh my God, I don't actually believe this in this moment, you know, and to think about that thing, that thing that I deserve better for, it was, it was a recognition and an awareness. So um, believing we deserve to have them met, getting our needs met and believing we deserve to have those needs met makes us happy. There are times too when in addition to our regular needs, we become particularly needy. So we have our regular needs and then we uh, become a little bit extra needy and that's okay too. That doesn't make us weak, sorry, uh, at times we need more, uh, okay, there are times too when in addition to our regular needs, we become particularly needy. At these times, we need more than we ha than we have to give out. We need more than we have to give out. So I'm in a space where I, I, I need more to come in than I'm giving out. And that is okay too. We can accept and incorporate our needs and our needy side into the whole of us. We can take responsibility for our needs. So it's, it's all part of the whole, the whole package. And we can take responsibility for that need. That doesn't make us weak or deficient. It doesn't mean we are not properly recovering when we get needy, nor does it mean we're being dependent in an unhealthy way. It makes our needs and our needy side manageable. Just acknowledging it, being aware of it, and then asking to have that need met. That's healthy and manageable. Our needs stop controlling us when that happens. When we start recognizing, oh, I'm in a needy moment, I'm gonna ask for help, then we're taking care of ourselves and um, then the need is not controlling us and we gain control and our needs begin to get met. Hey, isn't that awesome? Getting our needs met, love it. Here's your prayer for today. Today, I will accept my needs and my needy side. I will accept my needs and my needy side. I believe I deserve to get my needs met and I will allow that to happen. Mwah. Pray on that, sister. Yes, repeat that over and over and over. Thank you for watching. Love you all. Have an amazing day, loving yourself.